Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Dan at Valhalla Games. So I really wanted to share with you the uh, terrain project I've been working on, which I've dubbed Scatter Terrain Orama. So first of which I've got is the Scatter Terrain for wrecked buildings and ruins in an urban environment. So these ones at the back you can see are all Charlie Foxtrot models. A really nice kit and I've um, color coded them sort of tie in with bases and that that I've already got going on really enjoy that really enjoyed the smashed window frames and stuff like that in the bases bits of wood yeah really good bits of kit the other ones which I've got at the front are actually from any scale models and these are really nice as well I really like the way that in the any scale models the edges really chamfer away or um, I guess are beveled away into nothing um, which is a difference to Charlie Foxtrot models which as you can see um, have got a very sort of um, blatant edge to them not such a big problem because of course you'd probably be using some scatter um, debris or something like that on the top to blend them into the um, the table but uh, yeah, I, I, I love both. But um, I do like that as uh, part of the feature of the AnyScale model ones. Nice right angle ones to go around the buildings. Um, that is a uh, thing that's consistent for both sets. And we've also got some internal angle ones as well for the inside of buildings and ruins too. And nice to get one that's just rounded and out in the middle of nowhere for your table yep maybe a little pile of rubble that's fallen further away from a building that's been ruined it's really good bits of kit there so as I said uh, the rear ones the rear eight are the one kit from Charlie Foxtrot models based in England and the front four are from any scale models also based in England great bits of kit Next item I wanted to show you is this one here. It's a uh, greenhouse from uh, uh, Supreme Littleness Designs based in Scotland, I think. Absolutely beautiful piece of kit. It comes with the, um, the paving slabs there that have been put down um, to save the grass or the, the dirt around the, um, the chair, the seat outside and the entrance to the glass house. Very good. It comes with the plastic, the acetate to put inside the, um, the cutouts of the laser cut um, frames and inside the, uh, the cold frame as well. Really, really nice, well thought out piece of kit. Um, it actually mentions on the, uh, in the blurb and the description on the page, it does not come with your own stick to prop up your cold frame. Um, so I thought that was quite funny. Yeah, lovely piece of kit. I've just um, bought some flowers to put inside it. Um, I'm really happy with how that's turned out. But great piece of kit. It even comes with the lovely, um, I guess, randomly edged base as well. I just beveled the edge down, not chamfered the edge. Again, it comes with the planter boxes on the inside there too. It's a lovely, lovely piece of kit. And uh, following the advice of a website which they link to on their page about how to um, weather the building, um, basically it's been painted up and then it's had a, a thin layer of PVA glue painted over top of the, uh, the acetate to make it look like it's weathered, um, weathered glass. Moving on then, I've got these fantastic earthworks and trenchworks from, and fortifications from any scale models. Um, the ones at the back here, uh, a lot of them are wood-lined earthworks. There you go. Great piece of kit. I really like this one here, the, the drums. Uh, obviously, they've been sitting there for some time. I've even put a little tuft into uh, one of the little bits of dirt gone inside the drums. Yeah, really enjoyed that. Really detailed. So the AnyScale Models website, guys, go and check it out because... They really are fantastic. The prices on there are phenomenal. I really don't know how they achieve such great prices, but I just really want to say thank you to them for bringing affordable scenery 
out to the masses. And, you know, when you pay for some of these, you, you can be forgiven for thinking, well, okay, I'll just get what take comes, and if the if there's some miscasts or something like that in them, then, then you know, it is what it is, because that's the, that's the price that I paid, and, and I'm quite happy with it. But no, the stuff that comes is absolutely brilliant. Um, they do have great quality control standards as well. Like, if something's not right, they just don't send it out. And, um, yeah, they should be really justifiably proud of their product, which they put out. Again, some right-angle stuff uh, for the inside of maybe a second floor of a building or something like that, and then um, made into a trench or an earthworks. Um, I like that one there as well, with just the drums at either end. And they also do some, um, some vehicles and stuff as well. No slouches in their own right. This one here is beautiful. It's this Citroen. You know, there are some companies out there doing a Citroen for 50 odd dollars or 50 pounds or something like that. Whereas this one here, I think it's like $15 or something similar. Um, New Zealand, about seven seven pounds fifty, I think it cost. It's a great piece of kit. You know, lovely details on it. It comes with all the um, uh, the kit modelled on it. You can even get the Citroen in two variants. You can get the um, the Wehrmacht one, which I've got with the field kit on it, or you can get the uh, Gestapo Citroen that doesn't have anything on it. It's just like the uh, the black um, nasty looking Citroen that they. Uh, they zoomed around the countryside. And this is my favourite model by them. Okay, the wrecked Opal Blitz. I love the detail under the bonnet there. Great piece of kit. Zoom back out. Comes with the, um, so this is three pieces. Comes with the uh, the cab, uh, which you can interchange with a, um, with an, a, a cab that's uh, not wrecked if you wanted to. Comes with the back tray and the deck um, with the side um, folded down like it is or let down. And then it's got the, uh, the the underside of the back as well. But the details in the front again. You know, we've had some damage to the front. One of the lights is gone. We've got some bullet holes in the front. Obviously, um, probably stopped it in the first place from running. Great details around there. Now we've got ourselves our flat tyres. And... The low that's in the back is a separate piece of kit, believe it or not. So you go, lovely piece of kit, perfect size. Yep, they've dropped the side, someone's grabbed off the weapon crates maybe, and uh, moved off with the essential kit and just left um, the other weapons and ammunition and stuff that they didn't need there immediately on board and scarpered. So that's great kit. And uh, lots of smaller things as well for some scattered terrain. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have um, putting it all together. I've actually spent a lot of time doing it. I have referenced um, coming back from England with uh, the amount of scattered terrain which I got over there on uh, on previous uh, um, YouTube vids and on a podcast as well. And so I'm really hoping you've enjoyed where I've got to. I have to admit there are another three or four bits to um, to get done or get completed. Some are work in progress and some haven't been started yet. But I just really wanted to share with you what I've been up to. Uh, I've been really busy with uh, work. I'm training our uh, last bunch of trainees that have come through the um, our unit here at the army camp. But uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. And I just really want to share with you where you can get this from and the brands and the quality of the stuff as you could see it. Because it'll be very easy to think small pieces of uh, terrain, um, a low price that it wasn't good quality and I really 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 want to share with you the absolute joy that I've had making it and hope that you invest in some so you can put it on your table too. Thanks guys, see you soon. Hi guys, just before I left I just wanted to show you these as well. I basically finished these with a little bit of um, washing and a varnish to go on the scree or dirt on their bases. So these are the um, Games Workshop or Citadel uh, walls and fences set. They were a splash release around 2007, um, early summertime, I do believe. And you get them in the fortified mana set and stuff like that as well. And these are some of the best, most generic things that GW have put out, um, suitable for historical wargaming. 
as well as their own sets, but they're just brilliant. Yeah, fantastic kit. Love the gnarly trees. Some of those will no doubt get some foliage on them for me too. But yeah, I just want to share those with you. So again, um, even more kit I've got ready to go for the uh, Scatter terrain rama So thanks very much for joining us, and I uh, look forward to giving you another update soon. Thanks guys. Bye.